honestly, I never took the proper uh, courses or uh, strategy to take the uh, the FE. Uh, I think after the first time I took it, then I started studying by myself, which was a big no-no. Uh, looking mm. back, I definitely should have taken a course. Honestly, I probably did give up once or twice, but there's just something in me that tells me, you know, to keep to keep going, do it again. Looking back at everything, I definitely do have grit because I will come back. I'll probably leave it alone for like a month or two, but I will hop back in and get back in there. Once I went through the exam, especially the morning section, and I'm noticing, wow, I can't answer the over the overwhelming majority of these questions. I started feeling very confident, very confident. Quadir, why did you decide to take the FE exam? I decided to take the FE exam because I wanted to further my career. Um, even though I do not need it where I work now, but it was something that was always on my personal goal. And I just wanted to get it off my bucket list. Did you ever need it for work before? So, so before I am, before I ended up where I am now in the U.S. Department of Transportation, at my previous employer, I didn't need it then, but it was still something that I still wanted to uh, have. Okay, got you. So you wanted it just for like personal growth and then get your FE and PE. So that way it helps you with your career in the future. Um, so, and you graduated in 2017 and you took the FE exam about six times before you passed it. When did you first start preparing for your FE exam? So I took it six times totaling, including the time I passed it. Uh, so I failed it five times prior. Uh Honestly, I never took the proper uh, courses or uh, strategy to take the uh, the FE. Uh, I think after the first time I took it, then I started studying by myself, which was a big no-no. Uh, looking mm. back, I definitely should have taken a course. Uh, I would also like to say, you know, after like the third time, uh, no, the fourth time, I decided to take the Lindenberg course, the PPI course, mm. and that course... It was good for what it was, but I don't think that course was enough, nor do I believe it went over the proper concepts and, and basics. So that left me kind of uh, searching for another course to take. Got you. So the first couple of times you, didn't, you studied on your own, four times you took the PPI course. What happened the fifth time? Did you study yeah. on your own? Yeah, so I took the PPI course, then I took the exam again. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I didn't do well. Um, I didn't pass it. So that left me, uh, you know, searching for another course, uh, just something to help me pass the exam. Okay. And was there any point that you felt like uh, you wanted to give up or what was it like to fail it? Were you okay with failing and you're like, I'm just going to keep going? Or what? what was that like? Well, failing it a couple of times definitely takes a hit on your morale. Um, no, I was not okay with failing it. Uh, I felt like there was a couple of times where I gave up. Honestly, I probably did give up once or twice, but there's just something in me that tells me, you know, to keep, to keep going, do it again. Looking back at everything, I definitely do have grit because I will come back. I'll probably leave it alone for like a month or two, but I will hop back in and get back in there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so on your last attempt, you came across our courses. How did you find us? I found you guys through YouTube. I was searching for uh, courses online. First, I was just searching for videos online for certain topics, certain subjects. And then, honestly, I seen your course uh, probably like a month and a half before I, before I finally decided to do it. You know, I was looking at everybody's testimonials. And that actually helped me. Uh, that actually helped me decide to take your course. Seeing some of the things that, seeing, seeing some of the different things that people were saying, such as, you know, this is my after my fifth time taking it. I took this course and I passed. Seventh time failing, I took this course and I passed. Uh, the thing, the testimonials that got me the most honestly were when I seen people who've been out of school for like twenty years 
or mm-hmm. one that one or two uh, persons that were saying they, that they weren't even engineers and they took the course they passed. So I was like, it means this, say, say less, Just don't say anything else. So that's what okay. really got me. Yeah, that's a good point. Because like if a student's been out of school for 20 years and they haven't studied since then and then they pass, that means like, you you who just recently graduated you probably definitely the course will help you and so that's how you were able to compare the that was going to help you yeah okay that makes sense okay so how did our courses help you or what what were some of the things that you really enjoyed about courses and you felt really helpful there's actually a couple things one of the things that i enjoyed most uh i felt like i was learning everything for the first time there were a lot of concepts that I didn't know that I didn't know. And just going through, seeing you guys work through the problems and going through it, it made me realize like, yes, there are a lot of things I was lacking. And, you know, the mystery is solved. That's why I was not passing the FE. Got you. Okay. So you realized that you were missing so many concepts as you were going through the course. Yes. Okay. And, and another thing that, you know, you guys break the uh, concepts down beautifully, I believe. I believe just about anybody could get it, even if they're not an engineer. I believe yeah. this course was broken down beautifully for, on all on all topics and subjects. Okay, awesome. Well, th- thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate it. Um, so did you use any other resources on your last attempt to be- besides our courses? Yes, I also used the recommended, I forgot the guy's name, so can you help me out? I think his name is uh, Rashad Islam. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Professor Islam, right? That's correct. The book, so you use his book? Yes, I use his okay. practice. Uh, the one, I use the practice exam, the one with the two exams in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the one I found that very helpful. Oh, okay. That's awesome. How many, Is there any other practice exams that you took be- besides that one? And I think, I believe I used one PPI out of like their uh, book of five exams. I probably used like one of their uh, practice exams. Okay. Did you take our practice exam that that comes with the course? No, I didn't because I was running out of time. Okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the only reason why I didn't take it. Okay. All right. No, no problem. Okay. And then um, let's see, was there any study habits that you found really helpful that you would like to share with students that really helped you pass? Yes. Uh, I, I Actually, in the beginning, before I took a course, when I spoke with Rim and we went over the uh, study plans, that study plan mm. actually definitely helps. It definitely helps. I would not take that study plan for granted, especially the review sessions. Uh, whatever you guys decide will be the review sessions that do not do not take that for granted definitely adhere to it and stick to it the review sessions definitely help okay were were you consistent with you studying and did you feel like the study plan helped you with that to like show up every day and kind of study yes i was very consistent with my study plan i was very honestly i probably did a little bit more uh than what we discussed but yes i was very consistent with the study plan it is definitely helpful i would suggest i will also suggest even if you are strong in a subject and you feel like you don't need to review that subject to review it anyway because you will definitely learn something new taking these courses taking this course yeah i i totally agree with that because there's so many concepts that we forget from college right like we mentioned earlier at the beginning you graduated in 2017 so that's you know it's it's a recent you're a recent graduate um and you know you probably forgot a lot of the subjects that you learned in school did you did you feel like at any point like you were remembering some of the concepts from school or did you just feel like wow like this it's like learning engineering from the beginning me personally, to be honest, it felt like it was learning engineering from the beginning, <laughs> um, especially the fast method of joints. That was that blew my mind. That's how simple uh, these uh, problems could be. So I really do appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> and those type and that type and those definitely do come in handy on the FE. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, that's awesome. Did you feel like you were in? Did you enjoy the learning process? I loved it. I oh, loved yeah. it. 
way better than my undergrad at, uh, at NJIT, way better, much better experience. Okay, that's cool. All right. And uh, how many months did you study? Which study plan did you pick, by the way? Because we have three months, four months, and I think six months. Which one did you go for? I went for the three months. Okay. Did you do it in three months? If, um, I think I started, I don't remember when I started, but I think it was around three months, maybe a little more, a little more than three months. Okay. So like between three and four, right? Right. Yeah. I think that's actually the the good the good spot for for like especially if you're a recent graduate or you've been studying for it I think 3 to 4 months is usually most of our students are able to do it between 3 4 months it just gives you enough time to go through the course material and then review everything and take like a couple practice exams before you go in um how many hours did you study a week Ooh, so let's say I did a minimum of 3 hours during the week and so I, I'm usually off on Friday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will spend five hours each of those days studying. So five, you said five hours on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Yes. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Did you ever feel like burnout or tired from studying so many hours a week? Honestly, no, I did. Um and the reason why I'm saying that is because I was actually learning in, in your course. So nothing really, I felt like I had all the material. I felt like I had all the support that I needed that was there. Unlike uh, undergrad where, you know, you need to go to the office hours sometimes, you know, the person can't see you or you don't really understand what they're saying to you. I felt like, I felt like uh, it was clear communication just from the course itself. Hmm. Okay. So that kind of, that structure and just being able to learn most of the material just by going through the videos helped you feel less stressed. And so then over, overall, you didn't really feel anxious or, and you didn't feel tired. Most times you just, you were just enjoying the whole thing. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. Let's talk about your exam. So you going into the exam, how were you feeling during that moment? Like, were you nervous? Were you were you calm? Were you confident? What was it like? So before I took the exam, honestly, I was definitely nervous because I'm like, oh, it's my sixth time. So I don't know how I'm going to do. This will be it. This will finally be it. So I was nervous in the beginning. Okay. Uh, once I went through the exam, especially the morning section, and I'm noticing, wow, I can't answer the over the overwhelming majority of these questions, I started feeling very confident, very confident. That's cool. Okay, so you went in into the afternoon session feeling very good about like the whole exam. Yes. Okay. Do you remember how much time you spent in the morning versus the afternoon section? Yes, I actually do. Uh, so in the morning section, I actually breezed through it. I'd probably say... I think I saw the exam total was five hours. I probably did like two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes. Okay. Um, I breezed through that. The afternoon section had a little more tougher problems, mm -hmm. but I got through them. But... Okay. And you finished the exam on time or a little early? I finished the exam on time. On time. Okay. Did you, um, did you, find that you had a lot of conceptual questions overall in the exam? There were a, a, a nice chunk of uh, conceptual questions. Okay. Did it, okay. So you've, you've been taking the FE exam a couple times now at this point, right? Did you feel like each time you took it, there was like an increase in the conceptual questions? There were def there was, there was definitely an increase in conceptual questions. Yeah. Okay. Did you, were you able to tackle most of them? Yes. I tackled most of them. Okay. I left no answer blank. Even if I didn't know it, I just took an educated guess and just wish for the best. Yeah. All right. Do you do you remember how many questions did you guess? Uh due to time, probably towards the end, probably like six, seven. Oh wow. Okay. That's cool. So you're able to answer most of the questions that you had. Yes. Okay. All right. Seems like you had a really good exam. Did you find the exam overall difficult, fair, compared to your previous exams? What was the whole 
exam experience? So due to my previous exams, well, the previous exams, I thought they were unfair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't take your course then. But since I've taken your course, uh, yes, the exam was fair. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So it just depends on how well prepared we are, right? So if we're very well prepared, then you go, this is a fair exam. But if you go in not prepared, you go, damn it, this is not fair. That was too hard. Right, yeah. right. And, and it uh, definitely depends on which courses you take. So the courses you take definitely will depend on, uh, that'll definitely uh, help you out. It definitely depends on the course you take. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now you got your results. Um, I believe in a Wednesday. I think we all get our results Wednesdays. The, how did you feel then when you got your results back? When I got my results back, even though I felt confident in the exam, I still couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Because I just never, I always see the red box instead of the green box. So I'm like, hold up, what's going on here? I, honestly, I still can't believe it. Like I did log in yesterday just to look at it again. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's still there. <laughs> they didn't change their mind. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. That, that's awesome. Um. Okay. Now, if a student comes up to you and asks you to list three things that really helped you pass your FE exam, what would you say to them? I will say Jenny Prep one. Uh, definitely, you know, making it taking the time out to sit down and study and go over all the material, leave no rock unturned. And three, uh, don't overdo it, you know, during your process of uh, studying for the FE, go out like once in a blue and just enjoy life a little and then get back to it. Okay. Did you do anything fun while you were studying for your FE? Yes, I did. I, I ended up going to Las Vegas uh, for a work trip, but I, you know, just went sightseeing and stuff. Uh, that was one thing. Then here and there, I probably went to like the movies, you know, nothing too crazy. I think the Las Vegas trip was like the biggest thing, but that was for work. So, yeah. So there are a few things that you would want to do during your uh, time studying for the FE. Yeah, taking a break sometimes, it definitely helps us recharge. Yes. Yes, yeah. All right, well, Quadir, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your FE experience with us. Uh, I really appreciate the time and, um, and congratulations on passing your FE exam. Thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate the course. Thank you. I'm, I'm really glad it was helpful. Thank you. All right.